So the first one was this reclaiming of the Missio Dei that God was kind of doing to me. And, you know, John 20, verse 21, it says, As the Father has sent me, Jesus speaking, so now I go send you. He's speaking to his followers. He's speaking to the early church. And we get this fancy Latin theological word of the Missio Dei, or the sentness of God, or the mission of God. Of God, And what we realize is that when Jesus is saying this, that the Father has sent me incarnational ministry, humbling myself to come part of the Godhead onto into human flesh, the most humiliating thing you could possibly imagine as a baby in a watering trough in Bethlehem, I've come in this way, now I am sending you followers out into the world to go be my witnesses. And what we see is if we really think about that as God as a missionary, God is the first mission-sending agency, right? Jesus is the first missionary. The Spirit is the sent one. Um, What it means is that there is no such thing as an unsent Christian, right? That's basically an oxymoron to say, oh, no, no, I'm 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 the kind of Christian that's just supposed to go to church and tick the box that I did that. But there's no such thing as an unsent Christian. And that began to radicalize um, my view of what we're trying to do when we disciple our people when we're starting churches so that they understand who they are and what their mission is. They're not coming so we can reach critical mass and we can like fill our building. They're not coming so that we can have the, the tithe money, if that's your denomination, to pay the professional Christian, but they're actually disciples that we're gathering together to be sent back out to be a kingdom witness and a witnessing community in the world.